Hello, hello. So I found, I think I found some random spot where I can record because the truth is it's noisy everywhere I go. Even where I live, there's always somebody and it's just weird me speaking to the camera. So let's give this spot a shot. Hopefully you can see the beautiful background and um, I'll just share with you what's been going on. I am in the middle of Thailand. It's six months after the Marco Island, tw September 2023 week long NAFU. And if you haven't been on my channel before, I started off, well, I'll let you watch the previous video so you know what it's about and I'll go straight into it because those of you who are interested in hearing more about it know that I keep a journal during these events and I share about my meditations, just anything fun or crazy and is purely for entertainment. There is no teachings in these videos. And it's all about the Dr. Joe work. I've been doing it seriously since February 2022. I've done the September Niagara Falls in 2022. And then in 2023, I did Marco Island. So here we go, Marco Island, day three, 20th of September, 2023. And we started with the first meditation being um, Ooh, Botag, Blessing of the Energy Centers. And I have a beautiful drawing here for you because I remember that's what I ended up seeing. So I'll go straight into it. Wow, what happened in this meditation? Over two hours, which felt like two days. When we finished at 9 a.m., I felt refreshed and full of joy. We started with tuning into the heart. Music got me straight away into it, strong and yet gentle. Feeling so in love with my heart, feeling it full of love. The music changed to a track with hang drums that I use for yoga, which brought me back to the 3D world, but I let it go straight away. I was seeing myself teaching yoga once again. Dr. Joe took his time with us in blessing the energy centers, but first we did the breath, four or five strong breaths. From the first breath, I went all in. I was so excited. An intense release of energy hitting the pineal gland, giving, the, giving me a brain orgasm. <laughs> one after another so straight away I love them um, my body was feeling electric in a state of high arousal and released through weird noises that kept coming out naturally once he got us all high we started blessing our energy centers as soon as he asked us to tune into the first center root chakra I saw the roots of light an invisible field of energy from my feet spreading to everyone Feeling one, the root, felt like being connected to everyone in the room. So much love and light and energy bounced between us all. I saw geometric patterns forming and moving in the center. We then moved to the second center and I immediately saw fire sun, a fire sun imposed on a triangle. We joined one and two, then moved into three. So these are my attempts to drawing the one and the two there you can see it um let me go back to the page so then we moved into three in three i saw sun circle with spiky blades around it so we joined one two and three and moved to four where i saw the fleur de lis in five it was a triangle with lines going up seven a kaleidoscope like snowflake six was a pine cone i skipped it and eight was a sun they were all moving and swirling in synchronicity. When we laid down and I thought I could rest and drift away because the previous part was so intense, things got a bit dicey. Dr. Joe had us tune into one, four, and six, root, heart, and pineal gland, which always gets me. My body was being moved by energy. I felt so connected to source. I guess being Italian, hands go everywhere, but somehow I was reaching up to to try and connect to source and sky. As my arms went up, I felt a rush of energy from my heart into my hands. I turned them around to send loving healing energy to everyone er around till eventually I was told it was my turn. So my hands moved from over me, collecting loving energy and placing it on my heart. Remember to heal me too. I was very happy with my efforts as I did a lot of overcoming of the body in order to become. My symptoms were starting to bother me. I was in pain and I kept thinking or better fearing I need to leave the, the room and I was in the front row, but I didn't. I overcame the body. When the cane would come up, instead of indulging into it, 
I tame the body. I told it to stay. My whole and healed version does not allow the body to always disrupt the meditation. I overcome the body in order to become the new me. I think this is the meditation where I felt myself in multiple realities at the same time. And I was so proud of myself when I came out knowing that I overcame my body. So that was amazing. Meditation number two of day three, tuning into healing miracles and mystical is the name of the meditation. Ooh, the short one. In this meditation, Dr. Joe did not get us to tune into the heart, nor to breathe, to do the breath. We started by going straight into the void. It was my favorite track that my body knows exactly where to go despite the lack of breath and heart. I felt the void and got straight into it. Tuning into the healing, one, the healing, I was feeling it from my heart. My heart started feeling bigger and bigger, and it felt closer and closer to all the people all around me. One heart with all the people around. We then tuned into miracles and the divine beings, which appeared when I was tuning into the heart, started waking up. I was encouraging them, or rather asking, demanding. They stood up and joined the healing frequency to empower and strengthen it. By the third, when going into the mystical, my heart got bigger and bigger. It felt expansive, hooking to all the people all around me. Eventually felt hooked to Dr. Joe's heart. And that's when I kept feeling for the rest of the meditation. Our hearts joined as one with everyone in the room. It was ma pure magic. The meditation ended lying down. We were instructed to tune into one, four, and six all at once. It was like an ongoing arousal. I came out of this meditation so excited from one, four, and six, just tuning into oneness. The third and final meditation of the day. Feel that feeling in your heart. Tuning into new potentials meditation, synchronizing. All right, this is the third one. We started with tuning into the heart, nice and gentle, then moved into four, your heart. Oh no, then moved into four strong breaths. The energy was intense in the room. From the first breath, there was screaming and big energy being released. All four breaths were beautifully intense. We then turned into the void. I kept having a, to remind myself to relax. I can't remember anything too crazy so far. Sending out a signal with the brain had me tuning into my heart and just feeling super grateful to be there in that moment. So when we then had to call the energy and using an elevated emotion into the heart, I had already done so. I was already feeling so grateful just to be there. Once we laid down, we did the breath to stay awake. The breath similar to Wim Hof, where you breathe in strongly. The usual level of intensity and enjoyment, I like to go all in. I think it was on this breath, hold, that I felt my body light and tingle like when I tried Bufo, <laughs> which I did. <laughs> I was ready to drift, but Dr. Joe had us call in one, four, and six, six, and that always gets me. It started gentle, but then started flipping me over side to side, releasing stagnant energy. I could hear a lot of people having a laugh attack, but I couldn't join as the energy I was experiencing was so intense I was still being flipped over and over side to side. It took me a long time to come back to the 3D world, sweaty, full of sweat and shaky, but I was back. My clothes were soaked. The track More Healing from an artist called Sam, and I can't remember the surname, started playing at the end. So I ran by the stage, hugged a new friend, and danced to hold my heart in that beautiful state. And that is it for day three. You'll have to wait for day four to hear more about the rest of the fun times. So yeah, that was day three of Marco Island, sharing it right from the source, my journal. <laughs> Ciao.